Hello Sensuals! Today I want to take you on a rather not comfortable journey. The difference between tantric approach to sexuality and sexological body approach to sexuality. Now when I'm talking about this difference, I'm talking in terms of client, practitioner. Here's what I have learned about Tantra, although I am not uh, initiated in Tantra and I'm not a tantric practitioner but I have colleagues from sexological bodywork who have already done this. First of all, Tantra. This is a tradition, thousands of years old. It's originating in India, so from the Hindu tradition. It's an entire approach to life, not just to sexuality. It's an entire approach to spirit, to the universe connection that we have with other souls and then the universe. When we talk of Tantra, actually, we should be aware that there's more to it than just the sexuality part. But for the sake of this discussion, I will t mention only the sexuality approach, which is in fact what most of us nowadays think of when they hear the word Tantra. So when people go to a Tantric practitioner, what they find is that First of all, the entire session is more uh, oriented on the client's pleasure and enjoyment or on the connection between the practitioner and the client. There is a dance of ebb and flow of energy and in fact it is focused on union and on polarity and the practitioner has the responsibility of leading the session because he or she knows best what to do. He or she knows the uh, ritual or the massage or whatever they're doing. In tantric sessions, the client is focused on surrendering. So he is receiving, he's receptive, but he's passively receptive. That is, he's only supposed to focus on the sensations and the energy exchange that happens from the practitioner. In fact, the approach is different. They are putting in and showing actually more of their own erotic energy. They are infusing their energy with the clients. From this perspective, boundaries are not so well defined and as a colleague of mine said it, if everything falls into place, so this dance of energies is just perfect, then the sense of who is giving and who is receiving is actually almost gone. That is because Tantra, as with other Hindu uh, traditions, are focused on union. However, there is a problem. Many people are not suited for tantric approaches. And in fact, I spent an entire month with a tantric practitioner and I would hear often the terms, own your pleasure. Now, at the beginning, I didn't really understand what this meant. After having spent this entire time with this person and also talking to my colleagues, I come to understand that if you are not fully integrated, fully centered, fully owning your entire actually life or your entire evolution, not just in sexological or in your sexual life, then you can get lost. You can very easily switch from the practitioner client relationship to a lover's relationship. And in fact, that's why many people who go to tantric practitioners end up falling in love with them, asking or even having sex with them. And in other countries, this is not happening in Romania at the moment because there aren't tantric practitioners out there. This is not a field established in Romania. But in other countries, there are many articles about tantric sessions that go bad, that end up with people experiencing more than what they paid for, not necessarily what they wanted, but just more what they paid for because the energy just flowed in that direction. There are also groups on Facebook where they talk about Tantra and not trauma. And there are many stories of Tantric gurus or Tantric masters who are actually breaking consent or breaking boundaries of people who have been traumatized in the past and who don't really know where they should go and what they should do or how to own their pleasure. They don't have this 
in them. They don't know how to own their own personal development, in fact, and this is how things can get really confused. That's why I say that here, in the dance of energy and in the union that is supposed to happen, in the melting of both people's erotic energy, things can get confusing and certain people can get lost. And not everybody is actually fit for a tantric session or for a tantric development with a master or a teacher. According to my colleagues who are also tantric practitioners, people who book a tantric session, they want to relax, they want to feel good, they want to feel pleasure. And this is the only intention actually that they have when they book a tantric session. Now, my colleagues also say this, there is transformation happening there, but it's not intentional. And if people are not so aware and they cannot distinguish what is pleasure and what is growth or learning, then this can get lost in a way. Sexological bodywork. This is my training. And here's what I can say about the approach that sexological bodywork has on sexual development or sexual coaching. First of all, it is extremely recent compared to Tantra. Sexological bodywork was funded in 2001 in the United States. It's not a tradition, it is just an approach, a somatic sexuality coaching approach, basically, that is still gaining terrain. One thing that is very clear about this is that um, it's much more structured, it is much more rigid, so uh, there are clear boundaries set from the beginning. And that happens with, the first of all, the clothes that the sexological body worker has, during a session, the body worker will actually keep clothes on and the client may or may not take clothes off. Another thing is that in sexological body work, the approach is oriented towards the client as in responsibility falls actually on the client. First and foremost, in sexological body work, we work on the long run, so it's very rare that somebody books just one session of sexological body work, because in fact, at the beginning we sit down, we talk, and we discuss an intention for their intimate life, and then there's a sequence of sessions where there are many techniques that can be used with or without clothes in order to reach that intention to make it happen, basically. Why I say that the client is put in the responsibility seat, he is the one that guides the sessions. Basically, he's the one that communicates what he wants, if it's a bodywork session, so this means touch in any way. He's the one that guides intensity, pressure, types of touches, places where he wants to be touched or not, when he wants the touch to cease or not. Because of this, the person is actually growing intentionally. So he's more empowered to speak, to communicate, to ask, to seize. Everything happens with the power of the client, actually, or for the power of the client. Another thing is that it can seem more medical. Basically, in sexological body work, the practitioner is wearing gloves, plastic gloves, which you see in medical offices, and they use hand sanitizers, they pay very much attention to hygiene. Now, I'm not saying that in Tantra this doesn't happen, but in Tantric sessions, nobody's wearing gloves. And in fact, the practitioner is exposed to a lot of risks from this perspective, which people don't necessarily take into consideration. Another thing that happens in sexological body work is that people usually receive home assignments or assignments related to their sexuality that they get to apply on their own and this is to cultivate autonomy. If somebody becomes dependent on a sexological body worker, that means that the person, the practitioner, is failing at their job. The job here is to get people to own their pleasure intentionally and consciously and in fact, their job is to have them for just a few sessions and then have them use what they learned in order to experience or explore their own pleasure or give themselves pleasure or live it with their partners. So this is not something that you come back to over and over again. This is something that you're supposed to assimilate and then move forward. 
Now, of the two approaches, which one is best for you? Tantra, who is very much oriented on the feel-good hormones and it's a beautiful experience, a loving experience, a very pleasurable one, or sexological bodywork, which is a much more clear experience and it's guided by you. It's not necessarily as pleasurable because you are active, so you have to work for it. Which one is better for you? This was actually the dilemma that we had in our discussion in the group. My personal opinion is that the majority of people, and this is based on the Me Too revelations or revealing that keep happening, the majority of people are not yet ready for Tantra. The majority of people don't know how to own their boundaries, their pleasure, their, their intimate life. And this is why, in fact, sexological bodywork may be a much suited approach for the majority of people, especially the ones that have had trauma in the past, especially the ones that feel they did not have enough experience in the past. This is a more safe and um, level one approach from this perspective as opposed to Tantra. For people, for the rare people that can actually own their pleasure and they can go to a session and they can have this amazing time and not fall in love with the practitioner, not ask for a relationship with the practitioner, not end up experiencing things that they didn't go for in the first place and not end up feel abused or used or traumatized afterwards, then for these people who are so autonomous, yes, Tantra is definitely better suited. This is level four or five. And in my opinion, we ought to experience both, but we ought to start or begin or take the one that is appropriate for our current level of development. Neither one is wrong. It's just how we use it that can be for the good, for the evolution, for the growth, or for the involution, for the re-traumatizing or traumatizing in the first place, or for just confusing and mixing things up. So this is uh, not to speak badly of either profession, I have respect for both of them. This is just to make you aware a little bit on how to approach each one. Now, in hopes this helps, I wish you a very um, conscious and pleasurable and why not orgasmic intimate life, no matter which tool you want to use, sexological bodywork or tantra. <laughs>